What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Omar bringing you issue number one of the highly anticipated Turok Dinosaur Hunter comic. The question is, does it live up to the hype? Let's find out. To start things off, I do want to point out the unique cover on this one. This is actually a Heroes Haven comic book exclusive cover done by Tony Cordes and Paul Pelletier. You also have your traditional cover, your standard variant cover, and then a number of comic book stores around the country had their own covers uh, custom made just for them. So you probably will not be able to find this one out there unless you buy it online or live in Tampa. So I just kind of want to caveat the reason why my cover may look different than uh, than yours. But this issue, I was so excited for a Torah comic. I grew up playing the Torah video games, and what's better than a Native American hunting a bunch of dinosaurs? And this issue was supposed to set up the whole story going forward of you know, how does this happen? How does a Native American fight Indian fight? Dinosaurs, I'm sorry, and the backstory behind Torque is supposed to fill in some of the gaps as well as to create new canon along the way. And oh man, I'm you could tell on my voice, I was so disappointed in this. This for me was my comic to pick up for the week. This was the one I was the most excited about, and I have to say, the artwork is beautiful, the characters are very well drawn, and for some people who are starting to feel the fatigue of superheroes and uh, action, this is, is a nice fit right up there with Black Science. It, it, it kind of ventures away from the stereotypical, this is a superhero, this is not a superhero dynamic. But the story was so slow. And I know this is an issue number one that's supposed to set up the, the rest of the series. And as you can see, this is the first appearance of the dinosaurs. It takes place about halfway through the comic. And the ending ends in a little bit of a surprise twist. But I was expecting so much more from the material on the canon that they had to draw from. I was almost expecting them to, I want to say, pull a Tarantino-esque sort of sort of vibe to this, where people know who Torok is, they know the situation with the dinosaurs, maybe let's just jump into the action and then maybe backfill in a couple issues in, and kind of exploring his background and history. This one started off with a very muddled, muddled depiction of why Torok isn't with his people and some weird thing with the debt, and then kind of went nowhere for a long, long period of time. And I would say... In the next two or three issues, we're really going to have to see where it goes to see whether or not it's actually worth following. I would say, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is a this is a 6, maybe a 6.5. It's worth a buy if you're interested in the collector value of having the very first issue of a Torok Dinosaur Hunter comic. But if you're reading it in the hopes of an exciting story that fills in a lot of back canon or sets up a really exciting series going forward, this is just not it. This is probably my disappointment of the week, and and that kills me to say it, but uh, this is a this is a pass for me. Uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments below, and have a good one.